In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Chrome console from this to this. Or maybe this. Or maybe you like this one better. Though, for your own sake, I hope you don't like this one because it's quite ugly. Hey everyone, it's Colt. I'm back with a new video, a very quick one, probably the shortest one I've ever put out. Uh, it's not technical, really. We're just going to talk about how you customize the Chrome DevTools. This is something I didn't really know about until recently. I think I'm really late to this party. Uh, but it's something that I definitely would have done earlier for as much as I use the dev tools in my videos. They're in like at least 50% of the videos I make, uh, and I really don't like how they look out of the box. So it's not too bad to configure them, to customize them. It takes a little work. It's just a couple settings that you have to toggle and they're kind of hidden, but it's not bad. I'll be back next week with some more substantial technical videos. If you didn't see my recent videos on the spread operator, on JavaScript sets, check those out and let's get started. So first of all, if all you care about is getting a dark theme instead of this super bright background, you don't have to go through the work of installing an extension, although it's really not that bad. Uh, if you click on the little three dots there, settings, while you have the console open, if you go to appearance, it's under preferences right here, theme, dark, your console will reopen, and you're now working with the dark theme. So this is the default dark theme. Uh, you have to go through a couple of other steps if you actually want to customize it using an extension. Now the next step is to find a theme that you like. If you go to the Chrome Web Store, which is chrome.google.com slash web store slash category slash extensions, uh, if you click on themes, this is actually browser themes, like the entire browser, not just the dev tools. So it kind of changes everything. It actually doesn't change the dev tools uh, as far as I can tell. So you probably don't want that. But if you search extensions and you type dev tools theme, and then it will only show you a couple at the beginning, but if you click on more, you can view a lot of them. And there's quite a few. Um, so I'll just point out some of the ones that I like. I like this one, material dev tools theme collection. And there's a whole bunch of them. Most of the popular themes from editors like Sublime or VS Code are here. Monokai, Solarized, um, there's some other ones. I like Material UI, which is, this one I think is the best. It's actually a collection of different themes and it gives you an easy visual interface to change the theme. So there's a couple of steps that you need to go through. It's not as simple as just saying add to Chrome. What you need to do is first you need to enable developer tools experiments. If you go to Chrome colon slash slash flags, which looks like this, there's a couple of different, well, there's actually a lot of settings. Oh my gosh, I never knew how many there were. <laughs> wow. Uh, but if you go to the top one, at least it's the top one for me, you may need to search for it. Developer tools experiments enabled. Then you need to click relaunch now. If you want it to take effect, uh, you do need to relaunch Chrome. So click that button. And that's the first step. Next up, we'll add the extension. All right. So then it shows up in my extensions. You can get there by just typing slash slash extensions or chrome colon slash slash extensions, or you can click over here, go to more tools, extensions. There's probably a faster way that I don't know about, and it should show up here, the theme that I just installed. The next step, there's yet another step, is to open the developer tools. Go to click on the three dots again, go to settings, and there's two things you need to do. The first is you need to make sure you're actually using the dark theme I don't know why it's implemented this way, but if you have the light theme, uh, you can't use custom themes or they get messed up. You need to have dark, even if the theme you're using is light colored. I don't really know why, but it's just how it is. All the themes have that instruction. Then you also need to go to experiments, and this is in the settings for your developer tools, and check the top setting, allow custom UI themes. And then we should be good to go. I'm gonna close this out. And the extension I used, Material UI Collection, actually gives you a little icon here where you can choose your theme visually, which I really like. So let's go for Pale Knight, that's the one I like. You can change the font if you want to. I like Menlo, you can change the font size. Um, and then we just need to open our dev tools. So anytime you change this theme, you need to reopen them. And there we go. I'm now using Material UI Pale Knight. If I instead wanted a light theme from Material UI, like Material Lighter, here we go. 
just close out of here. I just need to open the DevTools again, and now we have the light theme. So that's at least how this collection of themes work. Some of them are a little different. It's the same steps you need to add to Chrome. So I'm going to use this one, which is called Magoon, just to show you what it looks like. It's a little dull for me, not enough bright colors, certainly not enough purple, best color of all time. But if we add to Chrome, add the extension, go back to all of my extensions here, and I'm going to make sure that I turn off the material DevTools theme collection. I just don't want them conflicting. And now I'll open the console again. And now I'm seeing the Magoon theme. And this is what it looks like. Some green, some blue, some greenish blues. So this one doesn't have uh, a nice interface to select or change the theme. I actually haven't seen any that have that aside from the Material DevTools theme collection, which I think is pretty new. It only has a couple reviews. I really like that one. Um, so I'm going to stick with that.